In today's class, we are going to see money. Now we are going to see a new chapter, money. So money is very essential in our day-to-day -day life. Without money, we can't survive. The life is very difficult. We can't survive. And it's also very difficult to survive the life. Okay. So money can be a combination of rupees and pies. So we want to buy a, buy anything for a food, a water, or anything. Nowadays, everything we have to buy. With the help of money only, we have to buy. Okay. So money is very, very important. Uh, criteria in our day-to-day -day life okay so money can be a combination of rupees and pies example this is a five rupees five rupees written is this is five rupees you are going to return like this okay five this is five rupees so and this is written as 50 pies so 50 pies you have to write like this so if you want to combine together five rupees 50 pies how you are going to write so you have to write 5 rupees 50 pies so money can be a combination of rupees and pies combination of rupees and pies is written as rupees 5 rupees this is 5 rupees you have to write like this put a point because in between the what money and the pies this dot is segregate together segregate the money and pies you have to write 5 rupees 50 pies you have to write in this way only so money and pies what this dot is going to segregate the money and pies between the money and pies you have to put a dot you have to put a sorry you have to put a dot and 5 in front of rupees in front of 5 because 5 is a rupees in front of this number you have to write rupees and you have to put a point then you have to use the pies here 50 pies so 50 then after that you have to p 5 0 then you have to put a you sorry you have to write p this is called as 5 rupees 50 pies i have told you money is very very essential in our day to day life without money you can't survive in the world we need money to survive and we want to pay the money we have to pay the money for the rent we have to pay the money for the school fees we have to pay the money for the what books and clothes and even if you are if you are sick you have to pay the money to the doctor if you want to buy your food in the hotel you have to pay the money so everything so in all aspect in our in our in our day to day life this money is very essential content it's a very important criteria of our day to day life i think so you understand how much uh, essential uh, in our day to money is uh, how much essential is money in our day to day life so that is what so money can be a combination of rupees and pies you have example i have showed a 5 rupees and also this is a 50 pies okay 5 rupees and 50 pies money can be a combination of rupees and pies 5 rupees is written as i have told you this is 5 rupees you have this is what 5 rupees okay 5 rupees okay this is 50 pies 50 pies okay so this you combine together this rupees and pies is a combination of money i have told you this is 5 rupees this is 50 pies so rupees you have to write the symbol you have to use a symbol like this and this is a exact symbol of rupees not like this this is exact symbol of rupees and after that you have to write the amount that is that the money that is rupees how much rupees here 5 rupees so five have written then you have to put a point this put a point and put a dot this dot at this point segregate the rupees and pies five zero we can call it as after the point we have to you we have to write the pies so five rupees 50 pies this is the right answer okay suppose if you want to write so one more example is uh, 10 rupees 50 pies so generally how you are going to write this 10 10 rupees this is called as rupees an old format okay 50 pies okay this is a rupees and pies now we have to use only the symbol like this this is it understood this is symbol of rupees this is 10 rupees so this symbol first you have to write after that you have to write the number so rupees 10 then this point you have to put a point and also 50 pies p means pies this is 50 pies 10 rupees 50 pies this point what segregate these two these two numbers that is rupees and pies i think so you understand next step so the number after the dot shows what the number after the dot shows price the number the number what is this number that is number after dot after the dot this is nothing but a pies 
space okay okay this is rupees and this dot the number after the dot the number after the dot okay so what is the this is the dot this is the dot 5 rupees right like this 5 rupees the number after the dot okay shows what pace we can call it as pace okay 100 pace makes 1 rupee and 2 into 50 pay 50 pace coins makes 1 rupee so 100 pace makes 1 rupees 100 pace makes 1 rupee 100 pace makes what is this it is 100 pace makes 1 rupee 1 rupee otherwise we can call it as rupees 1 okay then after that this is 100 pies make 1 rupee 2 into 50 pies coins makes what 1 rupee so 250 pies 50 pies plus 50 pies you can get again rupees what 1 okay next 425 pie coins it is 25 pies plus 25 pies plus 25 pies plus 25 pies it makes rupees 1 otherwise you have multiply 4 into 25 pies coins you can get 1 rupee 2 into 50 pies coins 2 into 50 pies coin you can get 1 rupee and 1 into 50 pies coin and 2 into 25 pies coins make 1 rupee so here 150 pies plus 25 pies plus 25 pies again you have to make what 1 rupee so 50 plus 25 75 75 plus 25 1 rupee here 25 plus 25 50 50 plus 25 75 75 plus 25 what 100 pies that means 100 pies 100 pies it becomes what 1 rupee so 25 plus 25 50 50 plus 25 75 75 plus 25 what 100 and sorry 75 plus 25 100 pies 100 pies we can you can write like this that is 100 pies it becomes afterwards 1 rupee okay this is what written 100 pies become 1 rupee so 250 pies make 1 rupee so 4 25 makes 100 pies it becomes 1 rupee so 150 pies and 225 pies it becomes what 1 rupee this is the basic thing so now after that i told you types of money what are the types of money this is 2000 rupees this is 500 rupees this is 100 rupees and this is 50 rupees these are all duplicate money it is not original uh, but i just want to show to you that is what i just stick because we can't uh, what, stick the original money it's completely waste that is what is a duplicate money i stick it in the chart this is 2000 rupees this is it's almost similar like this okay 2000 rupees this is 500 rupees this is 100 rupees this is 50 rupees this is 20 rupees and this is 10 rupees and this is 2 rupees and this is 1 rupees this is 5 rupees and 50 pies it is also 1 rupee so these are the types of money and pies repeat it again 2000 rupees 500 rupee and 100 rupee 50 rupees and 20 rupee and 10 rupee okay this is pays 2 rupee that is pays means it is coin okay it is not pays actually we should not write pays it is coins okay this right word is coins okay this is coins so it is in the 2 rupees some in, in the olden period it 2 rupees also come in the note but now it is in the coin type okay this is 2 rupees coin this is 1 rupee coin and this is 5 rupee coin it is also a type of 1 rupee and this is a 50 pice this is also 5 rupee coin okay i think so this is the basic things of money and the types of money the number after the dot shows the what price that is the number after the dot where is the number this number after that this is the number this is 5 uh, the number after the dot okay after the dot this is called as this is rupees and you have to put a dot the number after the dot it will consider as a pace i think so you understand the basic concepts of money